Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is the second teach a trick video. You guys uh, wanted to learn two tricks the most based on your recent votes. And I already uploaded Triumph the other day. And so this video is gonna teach you guys how to do the trick that got the second most votes, which is card penetration. So if you want to pause this video real quick, go back on my channel, uh, maybe a few weeks ago I did this video, card penetration, it's where the straw goes through some playing cards, and then you take a card out, put it back in, and it seemingly penetrates the straw. So if you want to refresh your memory on what that trick looks like, go ahead and pause this, go check out card penetration, come on back, and I'll walk you through it. So what you need for this trick are nine cards all together, and a straw, of course. Uh, you want, uh, what, what I do is I use the two through seven of hearts, uh, but you can use any, any run of cards that you want. If you want to use the, uh, you know, the four through nine of spades, you can, it's, it's really up to you. Uh, but you want six cards in a row, all of the same suit, and you want to make sure they're all the same color on the back. I use blue, um, but it can be, it can be red, obviously, but. Uh, make sure you have a run of six, all of the same color. Then you want a duplicate four. I've got a four of hearts here with the blue back. I have a four of hearts here with the blue back. So uh, this four of hearts or whatever card you have in this position, uh, just find a, an exact duplicate of it from a normal deck of cards. Uh, the bad news is you might want to go out and buy a deck of cards for this because you will be kind of ruining a deck. You're going to take a hole punch and punch some holes through the cards, so uh, you don't want to kind of ruin a deck that you might use otherwise. So you got six cards. You've got a duplicate four of hearts, the exact same as this, and then you want two jokers. Now, if you'll notice, one of these jokers is a normal joker. One of them isn't. As you can see, I, uh, I took one joker and kind of cut a triangle from the bottom. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, but you want to cut pretty much a, a triangle from the two edges or the two corners up towards uh, not quite the middle, a little bit short of, of halfway up. So you have something that looks like this. So you've got this joker and a completely normal joker. Now these two jokers are the opposite color as these cards. So if all these cards are blue, you want two red jokers. And you're gonna be doing a little bit of arts and crafts here. So to start with, you're going to, uh, you're gonna take your duplicate four, take this triangle, and you want to glue it to the face of this four right there. So what I would do is I would take some glue or some, uh, some tape, some, uh, some double-sided tape works really well. And uh, I, I use glue, I think. Put some glue on the back of this triangle and then glue it right there to the bottom of your duplicate four. Now you wanna take your five and attach it to this card. So you wanna put some glue or some tape not on the rest of this four, but just on the triangle. Just on the face of this triangle, put some glue or some tape. Take your five, put it there, and then press it down on the triangle. So you'll end up with a card. Uh, I'm not going to glue mine here, but you'll end up with a card where it looks like a normal five. But if you were to kind of flip this up, you'd see uh, a four underneath and then a little triangle stuck on here at the bottom. So once you do that, you'll take all your other cards, except for this card, put them on top. And again, the triangle is down here. And you're gonna take a hole punch and punch a hole through the bottom towards the middle. And I can show you my finished product here. Looks kind of like that with the holes uh, along the bottom there, pretty much in the middle. Now what I do is I, uh, after I punch the initial hole, I punch a little bit around the hole too to create just a little bit of a bigger hole just so the straw can go through without 
uh, you know, without any problems or anything. So you'll punch your hole uh, kind of down, down here. So what you'll have, uh, again, in fact, I can kind of switch over to my, my finished product. What I have to start off with is the normal joker, a seven, a six, a five, and again, this five is, it's all glued, but underneath is uh, a four, and then I put in the middle the triangle joker. So you've got your five, um, my four is here, my other four, and then in between is the triangle down here. So to start off, you'll take, uh, you'll take your kind of funny card here, take the rest of this joker and put it in the middle, right up against the triangle, which is the rest of the card that you cut off. So you've got this kind of three cards in one here, and then your other four, three, and two. So you'll start off by saying, I've got some cards, I punched a hole through them. If I take a straw, the straw can go right through the cards and they won't fall off. Now this joker is, is not really attached to anything, but it's not gonna fall out because you've got the, the five and the four uh, kind of pressing up against it. So it's, it's not gonna fall off, even though it's not, it, it, it's loose, it's not attached to anything, but doing this, it's not gonna fall out. So show that the, the straw is penetrating all the cards. And then talk about how you're gonna take this joker here and uh, put it in the middle. So what I do is I spread over seven, six, I spread over this big five, which is multiple cards. And I'm gonna take this joker and put it in between this five and then the normal four, the other four that I haven't touched. So really, really let your audience see that this joker is going in between the five and the four, and also show your audience that it's red, or it's the opposite color as all the other cards. Push it all the way through, and then again, you can demonstrate that the cards are all hanging off the straw. Now at this point, you'll take the cards off the straw, and you'll hold them with the hole towards you not like this towards the audience. Hold them so that the hole is kind of towards me. And I'm gonna flip up, and I'm gonna look for that joker. Now the audience thinks that I'm looking for the normal joker, which is the only joker they've seen. They don't know there's two jokers in this pile here. They're gonna think I'm looking for the joker that I just put in between the five and the four. What I'm actually gonna do is look for this joker. Look for the joker with the triangle cut out, which is in between my gimmicked card. So I'll, I'll uh, show my seven, tilt that one up, show the six, show the five, and then if I tilt the five up, the audience will see this joker here. They'll think it's this joker, obviously, because they just saw that one go in the middle, go right after the five. But actually this joker here is this joker. It's part of that gimmicked card that I made at the beginning. So I'll say, oh, I'm going to take my joker, I'm going to slide it out a little bit. So you want to slide it out maybe an inch and a half out of the rest of the cards. Now you don't want to pull it out too far because you don't want to show this cut off, uh, this cut off triangle, obviously. So pull it out about an inch and a half or so and just really show your audience that it's that it's loose, that it's loose of the straw, right? See, I showed, I pulled it out too far there, but uh, really showed this joker is uh, not impacted by the straw. And again, you can even show that it's red, that it's that it, audience will think it's this opposite colored joker that they've seen the whole time. So pull it out. Again, you'll take your straw put it through all the rest, and just slowly push your joker towards the straw. Now, obviously the joker isn't going to go through the straw. All you're doing is pushing the joker back up against that triangle, pushing the joker back up against 
against this in between the five and the other four. But really, really play it up like you're pushing the joker through the straw. You can even act like you're, you don't know, like you're hitting the straw right there. Then you have to give it one more good push and it goes all the way through. And again, you can hold the straw and show that all the cards are attached to the straw. You can take the cards off. You can spread through, uh, show the seven, the six, the five, blue, you can show the four, three, and two are blue, and show the joker, the red joker that they saw, apparently pass through the straw. So uh, everything is examinable except this five, because obviously this five here is your five, and then your joker, and then your other four. So. Uh, but hopefully people won't suspect anything about these cards. They'll want to see the Joker, right? That they're, they're going to think this Joker is a trick card. So you can let them play with the Joker all they want. They're not going to be able to, to find anything. So that's pretty much it. Uh, card penetration. Again, it involves a little bit of arts and crafts. You kind of have to destroy a deck of cards to, to do this. But uh, again, I think it's worth it. Uh, and again, you'll take your four. Glue your triangle there, put some glue here, glue your five there, and then you'll put your triangle uh, joker in between, and then this is the joker that you're pulling out and just sliding back up against the rest. So hopefully that, got, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions or I didn't explain anything real well, uh, comment, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, re uh, respond, walk you through it better if I didn't explain something very well. but. Uh, I think it's worth making. Spend an afternoon, spend a couple hours uh, making this trick and practicing it, and you might even impress yourself a little bit. So, uh, again, you guys picked a good trick to learn, and uh, keep your eyes out again uh, for the next contest or the next uh, the next video that I do, and you'll be able to learn some more magic tricks. So, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check out my channel every few days, every three or four days for a new video. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.